This is my 1996 Nissan Lager and here we have the engine off and ECU torque plugged in to the adapter in the underneath. Just a USB serial adapter and Windows XP running eTorque. You can see with the engine off there's not much going on, no engine RPM, shows you the water temp. One thing that you can test with the throttle with the engine off is the throttle position, so if I go from zero to everything, you can just by pushing it by hand, you can see it changes the position. And there's a few other switches that change as well. There's um uh, accelerator switch here and a full accelerator switch here. I think they change as well. I'll just push that and see if you can see it. So this one changes just when you come, just as you gently depress the throttle, and then there's the full accelerator switch goes all the way up. Right, so let's start her up. I think because the battery dips during startup, uh, it takes a little while for uh, ECU torque to um, start reading signals again. But shortly you'll see. There you go. So we've got engine RPM, a few other things like that. So you can see here is like a mass airflow sensor currently showing about two volts. And if I was to go around the front of the car. Just quickly, here's the mass airflow sensor. Just unplug that fellow there. Go back around again. So you can see here the airflow's dropped down to 0.6 volt, 06 volts. So you can soon tell if the sensor's faulty. Um, yeah, that's about it really. Oh, that's the other thing. I'll shift quickly show you the fault code reading as well. So here's the uh, interface, sorry it's not very good, easy to focus this camera, you just click read faults and off we go on here, it's got mass airflow sensor at the top and there's a couple of existing faults with the uh, fuel injection system. Alright, that's about it.